A war is being waged between the SEC and the Big Ten. We already know that, and it's probably going to go on for, oh, just a little bit longer. But a new battle is brewing between these college athletics titans in the world of East Coast realignment. It's being reported by ESPN and Pete Thamel that both the Big Ten and the SEC are hot after North Carolina and Virginia. Now, what can the Big Ten offer that the SEC can't for the Tar Heels and the Cavaliers? And should the Big Ten make it a priority to add UNC and UVA? Before we get into that, just a reminder to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Big Ten content all off-season long. Always crush that like button to spread the word of Big Ten Ted to the masses. We got to break down this article a little bit, kind of go over the meat and potatoes, go over the big chunk of it of Pete Thamel's ESPN article here in the last few days to really understand and go forward here in this video. According to ESPN's Pete Thamel, North Carolina and Virginia are going to be coveted heavily by both the Big Ten and the SEC. Thamel points out Notre Dame is the ultimate goal for both conferences. But looking past the Fighting Irish landing, UNC and UVA will be a battle. North Carolina and Virginia mark a geographic, population, and recruiting battleground for the SEC and the Big Ten. Thamel said they are desirable media markets and could help with student recruiting as they are number nine, North Carolina, and number 12, Virginia, most populous states in the country. You can understand why the SEC wants to get their hands on the Tar Heels and the Cavaliers because they want to have a complete, utter footprint on the entire South, right? Starting in Texas, going to the Gulf of Mexico, to Florida, and all the way up the Atlantic coast. Really, it's North Carolina and Virginia are the states that they haven't been able to get into, and they house very good markets. Like you go, you look at North Carolina, you look at Raleigh, you look at Charlotte, you look at growing markets in North Carolina. You go up to Virginia and now you're starting to get into DMV. You're getting into the Washington DC area. More on that in just a minute. These are both states that although they're not Florida, they're not Texas, they are still pretty ripe recruiting grounds and very good players come out of Virginia and North Carolina every single year. So you can understand why the SEC might want to get their hands on them. And you can also understand because of those reasons as well, why the Big Ten wants to get their hands on schools like that as well. You, We know the Big Ten wants to go further south. We know the Big Ten wants to get into the SEC territory. And that is very important. Now, I want to go in terms of these two schools, Virginia and North Carolina. What can the Big Ten offer? that the SEC can't write. The SEC is the be-all, end-all. If you can get to the SEC, you go to the SEC, right? Well, maybe not, right? North Carolina and Virginia are ranked very highly academically, like according to some rankings, they're right there with the Michigans, the USC's, the UCLA's of the world academically, right? When we're comparing them to some of these Big Ten schools, they are research-focused, they are AAU schools, Right, if you want to keep that academic prestige, right, being in the ACC, right, ACC, Big Ten, Pac-12, those are conferences that really emphasize academic, academic alliances, academic excellence, that type of stuff. If you want to keep that academic prestige while also doubling and tripling your revenue, more on that in just a minute, the Big Ten is the place to be to continue to get into that Big Ten academic alliance. And then when we talk about money, right, the Big Ten right now is in a coast to coast footprint and that coast to coast footprint will continue to grow the revenue and the financial aspect of the big 10. I believe if the big 10 can continue to get further South and creep down there, especially for North Carolina to places like Charlotte and Raleigh, where there's a lot of people and there's a lot of eyeballs down there. I believe that's going to continue to grow the revenue, which is probably going to be close to a hundred million dollars towards the back end of this current TV deal that is set to expire um, around 2030 from a financial aspect. And that's why the Magnificent Seven, right? When we talk about them meeting from outside of the ACC, it's a revenue. It's the bigger schools in the ACC say, why, why is Rutgers, Vanderbilt, Missouri, why are those types of schools making double and triple the amount of us, like the Miamis, 
the North Carolinas, the Virginias, the Florida states, the Clemsons of the world. It's a revenue discussion, and I don't think there's any doubt that the Big Ten can offer a lot, and I think that their nationwide footprint can offer a little bit more of a financial benefit going forward, especially uh, beyond 2030 if they're able to expand their footprint even more, especially creeping more into the South. And I think the financial aspect of a potential next deal uh, to possibly lure in a North Carolina or a Virginia to the Big Ten over the SEC kind of goes into what other schools could possibly join the Big Ten as well. Like Miami is a big time target. They just receive AAU certification. They are a fantastic recruiting market. Okay, if they if the Big Ten adds Miami, they have two of the top three recruiting markets in the country. And I think adding Miami and then adding someone like North Carolina could really, really guarantee that the financial aspect really plays out for the boys in baby blue. Now, when you look at Big Ten expansion candidates, like Pete Thamel said, Notre Dame is, is the top. Notre Dame's the cream of the crop. We know the national attention and the national brand that they are and the national eyeballs that they bring. We know all of that. Miami, I believe, is a clear number two for reasons I just mentioned. And then when you take a look at number three, I think North Carolina is right there with Oregon and Washington. Those are the type of teams, right? Washington brings Seattle, great research institution. North Carolina is very similar to that. North Carolina is such a big ad right now. North Carolina, when you talk about expansion overall and definitely East Coast expansion, I think Miami and then it's North Carolina. I think those are the priorities from the ACC because it sounds like Florida State and Clemson could be bound for the SEC. That doesn't look like uh, that the Big Ten is overly interested um, in the Tigers and the Knolls right now. It appears to be Miami, and then there's going to be a war being waged, a battle brewing between the Big Ten and the SEC for a school like North Carolina. They bring a lot, and they bring a lot to things that neither the Big Ten or the SEC really has right now. And, of course, Jim Delaney for all this time wanted, of course, to get down into North Carolina. He wanted. That was possibly rumored 2012, 2013, right when Maryland and Rutgers eventually joined. Schools like North Carolina were in talks at that time, but it wasn't meant to be, of course, the Terps and the Scarlet Knights, uh, Scarlet Knights, excuse me, eventually joined the conference. Now, when you talk about both North Carolina and Virginia, I believe one holds significantly more value for the Big Ten, not necessarily the SEC, but for the Big Ten um, over the other. I believe North Carolina is a much bigger deal for the Big Ten right now than Virginia. Okay, Virginia is in the DMV market. They're in by Washington, D.C., right? Charlottesville, just a little bit south of that area. You know who else is in DMV right now? Oh, a team that's been in the Big Ten for 10 years. The University of Maryland. Maryland has been chipping away and has been building upon having a Big Ten presence in DMV. And I believe Maryland has done a very good job at building that presence in that area. I just don't know if we need another team in that area. I believe the SEC could go after someone like Virginia to start to get in to Baltimore, to get into Washington, D.C., to get into a new media market that they don't already have. It's because of that I believe North Carolina holds a lot more priority in terms of future expansion over the University of Virginia. Folks, this is going to be a battle. We know what the Big Ten can offer on the academic side. We know what the Big Ten can offer on the financial side. It's going to be fun to see this battle as time goes on. Will it happen three years from now, five years from now, ten years from now? Who knows? But it's going to be fun to watch to see how this one ends up. How do you think this one is going to end up? Should the Big Ten offer eventually both North Carolina and and Virginia, or like me, do you think it should just be North Carolina? Leave your thoughts in the comments below about everything Big Ten, SEC, North Carolina, Virginia. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Big Ten Ted. We'll see you in the next one.